Can you get the best time? I can, and have, a billion times over. I'm also a pathological liar. Who am I? I am. What's going on? I don't know. Or do I? What?
take my dainty hand as I whisk you back to a time long forgotten. Long before the sh- the, the poop hit the fan here. The year was 1759. Ish, whatever. Self-made billionaire, cat fanatic, and theatrics aficionado Perham Furbottom set out to create the biggest, ritziest, most thrill-inducing theater ever. And he did. And it was the talk of the town. Trust me, if you weren't there, you were most assuredly square. People were seriously like, what, you weren't there? What are you, a nerd? Opening night was a thing to behold, as Lord Furbottom organized the grandest, jaw-droppingest show ever seen. There was explosions and dancing girls, dancing girls who exploded, Ooh. exotic animals, exotic animals who exploded, incredible feats of magic and wonder with fantastic production values all around. Furbottom sat for days on end, marveling at his breathtaking creation and packing handfuls of delicious, buttery popcorn into his mouth. But alas, his illogical contempt for intermissions ultimately caused his demise, and during the show, Furbottom passed away, having pooped himself to death on the way to the bathroom. Legend says he clenched his butt as hard as he could, but his little cheeks just gave out. Furbottom left nothing behind but his beloved theater, his precious kitties, his hat, and of course his bloated corpse, which was lovingly drifted out to sea and immediately ravaged by sharks. And that, children, is the legend of Perham Furbottom, a respectable and apparently delicious a gentleman. But the show must go on, right? Right! For thousands of years, Perham's hat passed from head to head, leader to leader, and the theater still operates to this very day. And what a piece of crap it's become! I bet Perham is rolling over in his sharks right now. I mean, everything's poorly run and the whole place stinks like pee and feet, and with everyone involved walking a fine line between moodiness and full-blown insanity, it's only a matter of time before something truly horrifying happens. But try to keep a sunny disposition as you sink further into darkness, yeah? Nobody likes a crybaby.